So I guess um, we are in a bit of an odd spot that this is kind of the first, um, I haven't tried this in previous semesters because in previous semesters, I want you to make sure that people have uh, necessary help while they are working through homework on time, you know, before the due date. So the, the, I made sure the virtual class session was before the problems at due date. Um, but I, I think this semester, this kind of makes a sense to do this session on Tuesday, even while your problems that are due on Monday, mainly because you have access to these um, videos that are that were recorded in previous years. And um, so these uh, usually address the questions that most number of people struggle with. So they will typically cover some of the more difficult questions. So uh, let me show you how you can um, kind of, so you know, you can of course always just watch it through all of them. That is definitely possible. Nothing stops you from doing that. What I will say though is, um, I don't really recommend that. I say that at the very top that, you know, I recommend that you skip the videos for now. Because if you watch them all, it might take too long. And you know, there's a value in you you just uh, struggling, working through the question yourself. Um, what what these are here for is more of a resource for you. Uh, while if you get stuck on any particular question. So imagine you're working through problems at one. Oh, imagine you're a test student. Because in the uh, instructor view, I can do this. And this is an, a view that any of you have access to. So let me go to test student view. So imagine I'm working through this as test student. And I think some of the questions I can kind of guess easily from looking at the pictures there in the screenshot thumbnail that uh, when I get to, let's say, this question, that this question matches to that, I can kind of see that in the thumbnail. So, so there's that, um, but, I guess maybe this is not the best demonstration because all the questions I've done, um, they have those pictures. But let's imagine, um, I guess, um, let's imagine I'm stuck on some question where I'm not quite entirely sure if uh, the question has been done before. Then this is uh, what I would uh, recommend. This is the steps you can go through to quickly check if uh, the question that I'm currently stuck on is a question that has been covered in the past. And this is where you can make a use of the fact that these are your textbook references. That's the kind of stable reference. And most of the homework questions programmed in, they are from your textbook. Uh, there are some uh, like tutorial questions that we've written that's not from the textbook, but they are relatively few and far between and they, you can kind of tell <laughs> as you are working through. So what I can do is I can search for this question in the textbook. Uh, I might, let's say, uh, grab some uh, enough of a question phrase to be reasonably sure that the, uh, uh, that'll kind of get a hit on the question in the textbook. So let me, oh, I don't, let me just change this to volume three. That's from my previous semester um, when I was teaching physics for B. So, I mean, uh, our textbook online version, and what you can do is, uh, I guess you can do two different things. You could just uh, look for this question um, in the textbook at the chapter end. That's definitely possible. Uh, something that's a little bit, uh, takes a little bit less time, and it makes use of the fact that this is a online textbook. So you can just search the book for the phrase. And, um, if you've struck the right balance of choosing the right length of the text, as in enough so that it's a unique hit, but not so much so that, uh, because some of the question wording might change a little bit depending on who programmed it in. And some of the numbers are kind of guaranteed to be randomized. Um, so you don't want to choose the entire question. If you do that, you might not get any hit. Let me give that a try. So. Yeah, you might get that. So there's some balance to be struck. I chose um, enough number of words so that it's unique uh, enough that there's a single hit. And that's the question. So this is from what? Um, this is chapter one, uh, question 40. Uh, when a light crosses uh, into water, it emerges and like, 
Oh, did we not randomize that 30? <laughs> Anyways, so that's the question. Uh, so now I can look here if it's been done before. So I'm looking for OpenStax University Physics Volume 3, Chapter 1, Question 40. And as I look here, I see uh, 44 and 45 have been done, 53, 60. Okay, so the 40 hasn't been done. So uh, I guess that's where you would ask the question. And, oh, you know what? I meant to remove this. Let me do that <laughs> now, actually, while I'm here. Um, I, I meant to remove it in the sense that uh, you're going to see this again when we are uh, at the lab part, all this note that's actually meant for yeah, spring 2021. We are in 2022. I think I meant to remove that and forgot to. <laughs> I meant to come back to here and then remove it and just forgot to. Let me just remove that. <laughs> you will see it uh, later in the lab module. So I think uh, we are doing that lab, uh, not this week, but the next week. As you are looking at next week's lab module, you will see it. So, so okay, yeah, I wanted to give you, you that kind of way to look up the homework questions that you see here and reference it against the homework help in case you get stuck on the uh, one of the questions that I've done before so that uh, uh, you can kind of see what uh, help is available. And if uh, any, and I guess with this set, there, there are being you know, 17 questions, me having done only uh, maybe five or six of them, I definitely haven't done them all. So 